Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to be teaching you um, how to defend against a larger attacker. This is probably the most common question and this is probably the, the biggest fear that we have when you're faced with a guy like Rock. Now, we actually look at calculator, Rock overweighs me by 180 pounds. He's like literally twice my size. Anybody says who size doesn't matter in a fight obviously has never fought anybody as big as Rock or bigger than him. Because size is a factor. If it wasn't a factor, they wouldn't be full of categories, divisions, and you know, in, in every weight class of fighting. So there's a reason for that. Second thing, a lot of the videos I see when they do self-defense against a larger attacker, it's like grabbing like this with two hands. They're going into guys here. You go one, two, and three. You're not taking the content of what a larger attacker of the energy that you're going to get when you're faced with a guy who's twice your size. Like, um, Rock, just, you know, go in my face. What, bitch? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Don't try to fucking kill you right now. Don't put your fucking hands on me. Look, I'll fucking murder you. Don't you know I'll fucking murder you, man. I'm sure we can I'll hurt you. What's the problem? I'll fucking hurt you. I'll give you some money, man. No, man, I don't want your money. I want to kill you. You want to kill me? I want to kill you. Okay, let's go. So, there's a lot of energy. Just just him grabbing my hand. He's basically crushing me. Everything he did, I just felt so much power. Now, again, when you're fighting against a large attacker, right you gotta hit first i have to hit first if i don't hit first you think i'm gonna like, take the chance of this guy swinging or or trying to you know wait to see when he's gonna make his move no i'm faced with a big guy like this i'm finishing the fight and i'm striking first right just just from the couple scenarios i knew in my head i would have struck him here 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 and one of them would have been a headbutt head straight to the facial area. Why? Because a lot of times big guys come in your face and they do this type of stuff where they talk down on you and you get this type of stuff. Bam, I'll just headbutt him and strike. From there, what do I do? Do I want to enter? It depends. If I go in against Rock and I'm here, Rock just try to take me down. Rock is, there's just so much. Look at that. I can't, I, it's just so big that, that I can't, I can't even move him. Right? It's just a break. Look at how much energy I put in. So do I want to wrestle with this guy? No. You can't wrestle him. You got to hit with what? Palms, a headbutt, palms, elbows, knees, big blows, hit him fast. The other thing to fighting a larger attacker, as long as he's up standing up here, I'm going to have a hard time. I got to bring him down here, right? I got to find a way to bring him down, jerk him down to the ground, because as long as he's staying up here, it becomes very hard for me to throw a solid strike. Now, we have a video on how to defend against the larger attackers. Full out scenarios, full out fighting with three different attackers. 6-4, we got Rock, we got Big G, and I mean, the thing is action packed. And you're going to learn a lot of good stuff on that video. Uh,